Okay, so I just bought this lamp. And I know it doesn't look like a lamp, but it's an LED floor lamp is what it says. Um, I'll show you the package in a second. Um, it's the Quim. I'm not how to pronounce it. Q-I-M-H is the brand. Anyway, uh, there we go. So, when I opened it up, I was a little concerned because you can see got some damage to the box little yeah look at that so anyhow but the good news I uh, documented everything you know in case there was a problem um, there's the part of the container and then, you can see up there, there's a little bit of that going on. And then that. So I was a little concerned. Mostly right here is where the most concerned. You can see that this is where one of the little things sits right in there. And it's fresh right here. But Amazingly enough, that particular piece is unharmed. In fact, nothing is harmed. So I just wanted to show everybody how this came to me. Um, I'm actually happy with it. So you can see that's the outer box of the thing. And then all that was packed into here, this box. It's an Amazon box. Um... You can see Amazon box outside doesn't look bad at all. No damage. So I believe this box must have been damaged prior or possibly damaged before getting packed. Yeah, I'm sure it was damaged before being packed in the Amazon box. But good news is, is that so far I'm not seeing any issues. So uh, this all comes out in one piece. You see this here? It's all is one piece. So it all came out. One piece. Um, there are three lights. So there's the three light bulbs. The packaging on these I was really pleased with. You can see that. Ta da! These are in good shape. These are the LED. And those little guys were packed in these little squares. So there's the whole base in here attached to the lights, each individual light. Like that. See that? So anyway, getting to... I thought this was the most impressive part was the base. That base is heavy. It's pretty heavy which is awesome. You want a, a lamp with a heavy base. So, um, I just saw a couple places on it where it just needs to be, uh, maybe a little alcohol swab or something to get some sticky, sticky stuff off here. But it's just sticky. So, anyway, this is the one light that I was worried about having it damaged. So I took the plastic off and inspected it, and it it's no problem. It doesn't appear to be out of misshaped or anything. So I'm gonna pause this and put it together. Um, but anyway, there's the light bulbs. I'm gonna put this together, and I'll be back. So while I was trying to put this together, I just found something confusing that I thought I should point out. Um, so we all don't waste our time trying to figure it out. Um, there's a spacer there, and that spacer doesn't belong there. I believe it's just there to protect the the stand itself. So I'm just going to pop that off, and then it's going to be able to thread perfectly. I already tried it, but I just wanted to redo this so you can see what's going on. 
Okay, so I'm making progress, but um, I learn from mistakes, and I like to sh point out my own mistakes when I put things together. Not really a mistake, but just this will just make it so much easier. Um, you can see I've got the bay, the top part, and I'm ready to put on. I got the there was one section, two sections, three section, four section, and then the base. So anyway, I'm down here at the very end where this is this part is supposed to connect into the base. I'm down here at the very end and I've got all this extra plastic that um, I believe um, what would have been better if I had like carefully cut it away before getting here because this is like um, taking off Ted hose, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm going to probably have to just... Uh, I had scissors when I started this little little project here, but uh, I really believe someone walked away with them because I have no idea where they would have gone. Anyhow, so I'm going to carefully use a knife and cut that away. But if I had scissors at the moment, I would have, you know, cut this away on each individual section because now I got like these three sections you know and it's just complicated so just a tip okay I just wanted to share something while I'm still pretty low on the ground I just barely put the whole stem on oh I love our hole in the ceiling yep it's a work in progress Anyway, so you can see I have it on, and when I got this base in, this is what really impressed me, is that, dude, I am shaking this thing pretty hard. And down here, it's really sturdy. As you get up higher, it's a little more wobbly, but dang, that is awesome. I'm very happy with that. Okay, my next part is going to be me having it all set up and uh, ready to go.